Hi, uh, welcome back to QTP interview questions. Uh, the Oxford Dodin. Uh, this website uh, provides all the uh, details about QTP interview questions, and it also provides uh, answers to the QTP interview questions. So this is very excellent website. Uh, you can always uh, visit this website and uh, learn more about QTP. I'll just connect to the internet before I show you further. So uh, in this particular video, what I'm going to uh, show is that I'm going to show you uh, how the QTP, uh, what is the object repository uh, uh, in QTP. Like there are two types of object repository in QTP, local and shared. So I'm going to uh, explain in detail with examples like uh, what is local object repository, then what is shared object repository, what are the advantages, disadvantages of both. And I'm also going to tell you what is the share, uh, what is the object repository uh, manager in QTP as well. So, just to focus on I'm, what I'm telling here, I have created one program here. I have uh, already uh, recorded some uh, statements here. So, if you uh, there are uh, to access the object repository in QTP, as I said, there are two uh, types of object repositories: local and shared. So, if you cl uh, go and click on object repository, that is uh, shortcut keys Control R, it will open the uh, local object repository here. So this is the local object repository. Now I have already attached one shared object repository. So I will uh, just uh, disconnect that. So to uh, disassociate the shared object repository, go to the uh, this associate repositories option and then uh, click on delete. I uh, just remove that attached shared object repository. So if you again go to the object repository, objects and shared objects. So it is uh, still showing, so it is not uh, still uh, detached. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now I'll save this. Now, as you can see, there are no objects uh, for this test. So I'll again uh, record thing for you. So I'm just recording one. Uh, Internet Explorer. I just click on home page. So I just stop the recording. Now it has uh, given me uh, three points, three statements here. So if I go to the object repository, this is a local object repository. I already told you. So these are the local objects. So it has one browser that is Google and uh, there is a page Google. So I'll just delete this uh, flashing object. This is of no use right now. So these are the two objects that are in uh, local object repository. So before I uh, discuss in more detail like what is local and shared object repository, let me uh, give you the more details about uh, these options, uh, uh, the icons in the toolbar of the local object repository. Now as you can see, uh, this is the uh, find and replace uh, tool. With this you can uh, find and replace the objects. And then uh, there is one button that is add objects to local. So if you click this. You need to uh, click on the object that you want to add into the object repository. So, if, uh, suppose I want to add, uh, add this web element, click on OK. So, this India is added into the local object repository. So, the, so this this option is used to add the objects into uh, into the local object repository. Now, this is to update the uh, object from the application. For example, suppose any object is uh, changed by the developer, and you need to so you must update the object into the object repository. So, this option is for that purpose. And then this is the define new test object. You can define your own object from using this option. So this option is not available in the higher version of QTP, like QTP 10 and 11. This object, this is used to highlight the object in the application. For example, if you want to highlight this object, I will just click this button. So it is showing me that this object is Google India. So this is very uh, useful utility. Then this is used to locate in the repository. For example, if I want to see where this available in the local object repository, I will just click on that, and it is showing me that this okay, this object is available here. And as you know, this uh, this is object spy. This object spy is used to uh, read more about the uh, any object. For example, if I want to understand the browser properties, so I'll just click on that, and it is showing the browser application version and all the properties and their values. It is showing. So. At the right side of this uh, window, uh, there is object description like name of the object, then class of the object. Now class is the web element here. 
so I will for page it will be page then repository is local now as I said there are two types of repositories local or shared so if it if it was a shared repository it would have displayed your shared repository and it is uh, at the uh, in the below uh, screen it is showing test object details that is the properties of this object so if I select the web element it is showing the inner text is India and HTML text due so these are the properties of this object and it is using the original identifier as index 2 so for any object there can be uh, two types of uh, original identifier that is index and location and if it is a browser there are three original identifiers as you can see index location and creation time so this original identifier is used to identify the objects in case QTP is not able to identify the objects using the description properties that are mentioned here and uh, Enable smart identification again. Uh, this one is used to identify the objects when QTP is not able to identify the objects using normal description properties. So, this is all about objects and object repository. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the objects from the repository. Before that, let me uh, tell you how to create the shared object repository. So, go to the file and export the local objects. It will ask you for one file name, it will I'll give you the shared objects. and I'll save that so I've ju just created one shared object repository I will delete this object these are local objects as I already said so now this test uh, has no objects with it so if you go to the local object repository it will show nothing now uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open the shared object repository from here I'm going to attach the shared object repository actually so this associate repository option allows you to associate the repository to the test so click on plus button and click on shared objects and open click here action one and click here ok so all the objects from the shared object repository file are now already uh, attached to this file this test sorry so if you go here it will show you the objects from the uh, shared object repository that is shared object dot tsr and these are, these objects are read only so you cannot edit the objects shared objects from local object repository now you will ask me like uh, when to use local objects and when to use shared objects now the advantages of the shared objects is that once you create the shared objects these objects can be used by uh, multiple number of tests whereas the objects inside the local object repository can be used only by the action that that is attached to that object repository so this is the biggest advantage of the shared object repository so editing is also very easy that is and from maintenance perspective it is also uh, good to have a shared object repository so to uh, tell you more about the shared object repository like if you want to edit the shared objects how you will do that so go to the resources go to the object repository manager then open the shared objects repository file and here is the option that allows you to enable editing and then you can change the properties anything you can do you can make it the regular expression as well here dot star click this then click no click ok so this is how you can edit the shared objects uh, objects inside the shared object repository I just save the changes and this is all about the local objects and shared objects in the uh, QTP. If you have any questions, you can definitely come to me or you can uh, put the comments uh, below this video or you can just thumbs up the video. Thank you.